So, you think you have what it takes to grow Zenith Zoysia or Tiff Blair Centipede Seed? Well, if you're already about to fast forward through this video, then don't. Keep watching. Okay, still there? Good, because the number one thing you need is patience. The beautiful Zenith Zoysia or Tiff Blair Centipede lawn that you're yearning for just takes time. And following these steps. So let's grow. I mean, let's go. Step one, read the instructions. Seriously, read the instructions. Okay, step two is a good seed bed. Remove any existing grass, sticks, weeds, beer cans, pesky neighbors, and other knickknacks from the soil. Then level it out. Add fertilizer as instructed from those instructions you definitely read, right? Now plant your seeds evenly. Divide your seed in half and spread in two opposite directions with a rotary spreader. Afterwards, rake the soil so the seeds are lightly covered, about an eighth to a quarter inch deep in the dirt. Don't overdo it. This isn't your former parrot. R.I.P. Squawky. So no deeper than a quarter inch. From there, you're good to go for H2O. Keeping the seed constantly moist for 21 days is critical. Lightly watering twice a day is usually enough. Don't forget that these seeds take three weeks to sprout, and even then, they'll be small. Like, very small. Like, very, very small. Once the seedlings are up, they'll start to grow together. But we're talking a few months until your grass is fully grown in. So kick back, relax, and grab a cold one. It may feel you're waiting a lifetime, but your new turf will actually last a lifetime, so it's worth it. Soon enough, you'll be enjoying the magic of your lovely new lawn. Still watching? Now that's some patience.